Ecosia is planting millions of trees in Kenya. But this story begins 80 years ago, when Wangari Mathai was born in Ihite village. She would grow up to become Professor Wangari Mathai and the first African woman to win the Nobel Peace Prize for her political activism and for founding the Green Belt Movement, our planting partner in Kenya. Wangari died in 2011. It's too late to meet her now. But it's not too late to meet the people whose lives she changed and is still changing. Professor Wangari Madai always believed that uh, when women are supported, they can achieve so much. Mushukasabarquamia <laughs> I have learned and I learned whatever I am, small and one, or being a woman or single, with my mind, I can influence other people in the right direction. If I persist on what is right, be focused, I can bring change to the world. That I learned from Professor Wangari Madai. She's been arrested not once. She was even hurt. When she was taken to the hospital, she was unconscious. But even after she left the hospital, she didn't stop. Even an os a hospital ward could not uh, keep her silent. The moment she was released, the moment she came out of the hospital, she would continue doing exactly the thing that she was arrested for. I felt she was doing the right thing, and I felt I should do the same thing. There was no one time I felt fear. Nagakubuka mikitu kienda nyeri akapiki wa simu mingi thana na mimi siku na juu kuna kitu na itu anobel baani mi ni kuna skia tu akionge na mtu na sema amefurai thana sema yes he's excellent sasa mi mi kufika nyeri mi kapa na watu wa media wakajia hapo mi ni kashidu mi na endelea baada ni yule ni kujia kujua amekura nobel diu mana alikuwa amefurai hivo paka tu ka media wakajia hapo ingine walikuwa na kujia na dege Kana kujia nyeri, ni sikuyo, ata mi ni rifurai zana, ni rifurai zana sikuyo. Ako tingi jori janika wana ropi, kongi mwa wangare matahe, kwa 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 mu, matinye mena ile ni jita nuhu, hima ina, hijame ji itukul, kwa ngete lakwe ni minu wawinu. And she was kind, and her kindness made her to sacrifice her life for the community. Ado wakati wa siyo mi ni kwa na mdeba, Karibi, lakini tulistuka sana na tulihusunika sana 
mpaka tukaona kama shirika ita, itaisha tulistuka sana hata na tunakuwa tunamtimis sana yes she is gone but i can tell you that uh, wangari's voices are louder today hiyo mtu si mbaya maji ni mzuri si chafu ndio tulipanda miti yetu hii sijawahi kuona hii maji kichafu kilikuwa mbele ni maji mbaya sana na monyoko ya utonge litokanga area hiyo ikitirike kileta mchanga maji mbaya lakini sasa hii maji safi tulipanda masingira tumeona ni maji ni mzuri niko geta na haroa bura bure kaige hako kuma to abereria kwa ni kurathuka ngitio mutito no rathukitio biu kaga miti na kuma riu rira twabiriria kwa nda miti 205 nituonete change nene muno tondu bure chokete kugera grumu eno twie gokegereire grumu na tukona ni ratutethia muno niliona ni tunze ndio mimi naye nipate chakula niliona isaidie hewa mvua maji kuwa mingi ndio mvua ikinyesa chakula inakuwa na miti inakuwa na tusaidie hewa baridi na tusaidie hali ya baridi na mvua kukuja na hewa ile ni hali ya udiri udiri keno ri boku ri udiri niliona tudigira hali ya muno na ku Gona we roch yoni twa ni tugu ya na kiona guo Wangari Mathai planted a lot of trees but planting trees was never just about improving soil fertility or conserving the water cycle for her It was also about making us see that we have the power to tackle big problems no matter how small our solutions are that we can heal our environment no matter what kind of opposition we face The movement started as a tree planting campaign that's how we enter into communities but it is a little more than just the planting of trees is planting of ideas it's giving people a reason why they should stand for their rights it's giving them reasons why they should protect their environmental rights and giving them reason why they should protect their women rights <laughs>